Welcome back. Do you find that your hair sheds more during the spring and fall? Well, you might be experiencing what's called seasonal hair loss. Yeah, I know it's like what else can happen? So mm -hmm. spring officially begins on Sunday and here to talk about the seasonal hair loss is our nine health expert, Dr. Powell Coley. Good morning. Good morning, Natasha. So let's talk about this mm -hmm. seasonal hair loss. What is it? So, you know, just like our skin can change, we can have allergies as the season changes. Our hair follicles can also change. Now, women are more sensitive to this than men. Usually fall is a little bit worse than the spring, but basically you can get accelerated hair loss. So we normally lose 80 to 100 hairs a day. We can lose 150 to 200 a day. And why does this happen? Well, I think it's just the temperature, humidity, and the climate changes of our hair follicles that can really sort of stimulate those types of changes. There are behaviors potentially that we are mm -hmm. doing as well that could also accelerate this. Can you talk about that? Because maybe that could lead to how we can prevent it. Yeah, so I, I, I was kidding around that we should ask Ed what he does with his <laughs> hair because he's got he's great got amazing hair. hair. <laughs> yeah. yes. And so we should all do what Ed does, but I think there's a couple of ways to think about hair loss. One is from the inside and one is from the outside. So behaviors that we do from the outside, especially as women, really mm -hmm. accelerate hair loss. And that includes, you know, heat tools, that includes chemicals like hair dyes, mm -hmm. washing our hair too often. So we really mm -hmm. shouldn't be washing it more than three times a week or so. Putting it up in a tight ponytail, right. which pulls at those hair follicles and really makes them loose. And then stuff from the inside. So we want to make sure that our vitamin D, our iron levels, especially for premenopausal, are nice and normal. We want to make sure we're getting lots of sleep, lots of hydration, and then certain types of foods, sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. avocados, they can really help sort of give the vitamins that our hair needs yeah. to be healthy. So you bring up vitamins and pills. I've heard, you know, taking biotin, even prenatal vitamins. Uh, what, what, what's your response to that? Not a lot of compelling data. Okay. And a lot of the, unfortunately, the vitamins and supplements, they can market things that aren't necessarily scientifically accurate. So I'm not sure if it hurts you to take those, but there's not a lot of great data that suggests you should take those. So my personal belief is try to get your vitamins from your food rather yeah. than supplements because supplements can have other things mixed in and they can have harmful effects too. Sweet potatoes, that's easy to add into yeah. your diet. Sweet potato fries. There you go. Yeah. All right, Dr. Coley, thank you. Let's